Hello. Masks. Vaccine. The government want everybody in Australia to be vaccinated for this new virus that's going around. So here in Perth, we just had a lockdown because of one person. One person. who contracted this virus, shut down the city of Perth and a couple of surrounding areas that he's been to. One person shut hotels, restaurants, other small businesses, for a week. And now the government are talking about vaccinating everybody for this virus. Now do you understand what this vaccination if they manage to get everybody back to it, what it actually means. It means that if you are not vaccinated, you will not be able to travel by air, bus, train, or even probably taxi, unless you have a certificate saying that you have been vaccinated. You won't be able to go anywhere. You won't be able to go to the supermarket. You won't be able to go to anywhere, any public places, restaurants, the casino, anywhere. You won't be able to go to the footy. You won't be able to go to the cricket. People must have to understand that vaccine, trying to vaccine everybody or inoculate everybody, against this so-called virus that's uh, going around the place. It's all about control. Control everything we do. Everywhere we go. Everywhere. Just everything. It's control, control, control. There hasn't been an effective vaccine for any virus that has happened in the world. They all come back time and time again. Not one of them has been eradicated completely. So what think what are they thinking here when they want to vaccinate everybody? thinking that it's going to uh, control this virus. There are viruses everywhere. Always has been and always will be. A few people have died here in Australia, I don't know how many, maybe in the hundreds of states, from this virus, from this particular virus. Well, so it's been reported. But more people die from the flu, more people die from smoking um, illnesses and everything else. Probably more people get killed and die from uh, road accidents than this particular virus. But no, let's vaccinate everybody. Unbelievable. Mandatory now to, to wear masks in public. Now we're all going around like zombies. You know, follow each other, follow the leader. Wear a mask. 
where are these infections coming from? They're not coming from they're not coming from inside Australia, they're coming from outside Australia. We're importing it. Well, we're still bringing people in from overseas, and these people, not all of them, but some of them have this virus and spread it internally. We should never have private security people policing the quarantine stations or the hotel that are quarantined people. It's cost millions and millions of dollars and it hasn't been an effective in any state. They should have had the army policing the quarantine stations or they shouldn't even have the quarantine stations in the cities, in any of these hotels. They should have them out in quarantine centres specifically designed. It's been over a year since this virus was first detected here in Australia. So we've had 12 months, uh, maybe more than 12 months, to get it right. Now if one person should know about security, and that is our Premier, who is an ex-Navy officer, so if he doesn't know about security, well, nobody would. I mean, quarantine means quarantine. Anybody that's in quarantine stays in quarantine until such time as they're cleared. You don't come in and out of a quarantine area unless you're cleared. So if people want to go and police the quarantine, they're there for a month. Regardless, you go in, you stay there. You don't come back out. That's what quarantine's all about. 